So, Mr. Medicare was finally flagged off of YouTube today. Now, a lot of people think infamous false flagging, proven false flagger, mundane Matt, was responsible. This is possible, but I don't think that's the case. I think it was Kraut and T. See, the same day that Kraut and T comes back, immediately going after the same people that chased his fucking doxing ass off of YouTube, immediately victim blaming the person that he doxed and fucking harassed and coordinated, uh, basically literal harassment campaigns against Coach Red Pill the same day that he is back making the same fucking drama videos, uh, Mr. Medicare gets flagged off of YouTube for spam. Now, the thing is, there's something about the YouTube system where it's much easier to try to maliciously and uh, abusively delete somebody's channel by reporting them for spam instead of things like hate speech or terrorism or any of that shit. I've had my channel deleted for spam when I've never spammed anybody in quote-unquote deceptive practices. I've never mistagged my videos. I've never titled something that my video is not about. I've never solicited anybody for anything. My fucking uh, channel's not monetized. I don't sell anything. So... How did my little channel get temporarily deleted for fucking spam? I'll tell you why. Because it's easy to abuse that automated system. And I think, especially due to some insider information that uh, Kraut and T and infamous ladyboy David Sherratt were talking to a YouTube executive for several hours on Kraut's equally infamous doxing server, I think that this is a coordinated attack. So, my money is on Kraut and T, not Mundane Matt. I know, shocker, right? Well, stay posted.